Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey and Daytona, Florida. So our friends over at Concrete Audio. We're excited that we included their uh, 5K battery in our battery, lithium battery test. So they asked us to retest the battery and they sent us one of their special chargers that they made to go with the battery. These chargers go up to 15.5 volts. So they guaranteed me that the battery would have better performance. And they also sent me one of their 10K batteries to test. So um, the battery did really well on a standard 12 volt charger. So I'm assuming it's gonna do way better on a 15.5 volt charger. Um, so we're gonna run through the same test. We're gonna hook it up to the 8000.1 and run a 40 hertz test tone for 10 seconds, see what the voltage drop is and see what the recovery time is after that. And then we're gonna switch over to the uh, 1000 amp um, carbon pile tester. And then we're gonna hit it with uh, as high of a load as we can. So between 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1000 amps, see what it can take. So we're gonna test the 5K battery and test the 10K battery. So 5K batteries, obviously gonna do 5,000 watts or better. It did 5,000 watts in the last test. He's telling me we can get closer to 7 to 8,000 watts this time around, so we're gonna try. And the 10K battery, he says, will do a minimum of 10,000 watts RMS. So we're gonna start testing the 5K battery. Then we're gonna switch and test the 10K battery. This is their charger. I'll give you a link to the charger. Um, obviously it does a good job. It was designed by them. Charged the batteries yesterday and uh, the smaller battery is at 15.62. Alright, there we are, 15.62. So we have both leads of the 8000 going to the 5k battery hooked up to our test woofers. So we're going to go ahead. We're using the recoil twin generator because uh, I blew up my DMR A1, had to send it in for repair. When you're using these tone generators, please make sure that there is no amplifier hooked up. So I was tuning a bike two days ago, had it hooked up to test the impedance of the woofers and accidentally turned on the amplifier and cooked my unit. So 40 hertz tone, we're gonna go ahead and power it up. All right, so we're gonna take it up to 70 volts. You're gonna see it on this meter. So that's gonna give us uh, over 5,000 watts RMS. We're gonna skip right over the 3,000 watt test. back up over 15 volts. We're going to hit it again. We're going to push a little past 5,000 watts. That was 7,000 watts in that test. And we're gonna hit it with 5,000 watts one more time. Not that I'm worried about the amplifier or the battery, I'm worried about the woofers. over concrete audio are correct the higher you charge this battery the more you can get out of it and look at that resting at just under 15 we're at 14 not, ah, it's gonna hit 15 guarantee you if I turn the amp off it hits 15 even with the amp connected it'll hit 15 so let's disconnect the remote actually no let's leave it connected I have faith it's gonna jump up there it is 15 volts All right, so now we're gonna walk it over to the pile tester, but let's switch the cables over to the 10K battery, see what that does. So 
Something I want you guys to realize about this test is we're running a one ohm amplifier at half an ohm to compensate for the box rise of the enclosures. And we're able to take the amplifier up into clipping. And since we're running the right amount of current input into the amplifier and using the proper gauge cable, the amplifier is blowing the fuses. The amplifier never goes into protection. The amplifier never gets burnt. The amplifier never smokes. So it's, it's like you guys have to understand that what you guys are doing out there to destroy these amplifiers has to be really, really extreme. I'm testing the amplifier at half the impedance that it should be tested at. But I made sure that I'm running the proper size cables with the proper fusing. And I'm hitting the amplifier at half the impedance load that it's supposed to. The amplifier doesn't fail. The fuses fail because the amplifier is drawing more current than it's supposed to to create the 8,000 watts. So um, if you wire everything properly and you give it the proper gauge wire and you give it the proper fusing, the amplifier should never fail. We're literally testing the amplifier under a load that it shouldn't be. We're testing these batteries under this. We overloaded this battery because an 8,000 watt amp on a 5,000 watt battery. This is a 10,000 watt battery. So this, it's going to be no sweat to handle the amp. But um, if you wire it properly and treat it properly and tune it properly and don't clip it, this equipment performs amazing. So here we go, time to abuse the amp again. We have our 40 hertz tone. We're gonna take it up to 70 volts. It's gonna be no sweat for this battery. The real test for this battery is gonna be when we do the load tester because 8,000 watts is gonna be no sweat for a 10,000 watt battery. So our voltage is holding at 15.6. So that was 6,400 watts, depending on how you calculate it, because if we calculate at half an ohm, we're up over 9,000 watts RMS. So let's hit it one more time. Battery voltage holding solid at 15.3. So 91 times 91 divided by 1 ohm is 8,200 watts. Now if we do 91 times 91 divided by 0.5, we're talking over 15,000 watts RMS for a brief few seconds. So obviously the battery's doing its thing, the terminals aren't even hot, and we're back up to 15.3 volts and climbing. Now let's move it over to the load test. All right, here we go. Oh, and he's right. And at over a thousand amps, I took it like a champ. Recovery. Just under 14 volts. Let's hit it at 800 amps. 800 amps. Recovery. The battery it's designed for less than 500 amps is taking 800 amps no problem as long as you charge it up to 15 volts. So 13.5 voltage, let's hit it one more time, 800 amps.
great job, guys. One final recovery. And we're up over 13 volts. Touch it, see if it's hot, Josh. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so these concrete audio batteries uh they will work on your harley but they're really really designed for slingshot audio uh especially a 10k i like the 10k that's what we're installing my personal slingshot now because it fits in the rear battery tray without modification it's just longer than the stock battery it's the same height so you're able to put it in the back and get over 10,000 watts rms on one single battery um, you can charge it up to uh, 15, 16 volts. And with an alternator, it'll play all day, all day, 10,000 watts, no problem. We've just proved it in the test. Um, we hit it with six, seven, 800 amps uh, for 10 seconds and it took it no problem. So 800 amps at 10 seconds is well over 10,000 watts RMS. Um, it's a great battery. Uh, so it's the only battery I know of that fits in the factory location on a slingshot that can give you that kind of power. So if you get their charger and their battery, guaranteed winning combo. Like it's got a mini terminal block built in so you can hook up the equipment on one and then another battery on the other. Or if you have two amplifiers, you can go directly to the battery to the amplifier, battery to amplifier, battery to fuse to amplifier, battery to fuse to amplifier. go let's go straight to a thousand amps holy crap <laughs> watch these cables that's awesome straight to a thousand amps it's not even dropping buzzing but it's still holding well we've never had a battery we have never had a battery perform this well in our test but in all fairness it's the largest battery we've, we've tested voltage up to 14 and climbing Thousand amps, no sweat, second time. Terminals are smoking. Recovery. Voltage still climbing. Thirteen five is where we recovered to. That's a beautiful job. Great job, concrete audio. So the clamps are too hot to take off. Look what it did to the wire. The wire is now spaghetti. Honestly, it feels like they're about 180 degrees, too hot to touch. The clamps are so hot, I can't take them off right now. Great job, Concrete Audio. 187 degrees on the cables. 132 on the clamps. Wow, 211, 222 at the machine.
still hot to the touch. But the battery itself is cool. Not that bad.